back to my channel, welcome if you are new. Uh, today's video I'm going to show you how I create my natural waves, like enhance them and such, and I do it with no heat. I don't use heat on my hair, um, I haven't for like a year and a half now. Um, I've been trying to get my hair into really nice condition um, and to make it longer, so yeah, and no heat has actually really worked for me. So I've found loads of different hairstyles that are easy and quick and help tame my frizz a bit because I do get frizzy hair. So yes, yeah, today I'm going to show you how I do, this is kind of like my staple hair, I do it a lot now, my no heat waves slash curls, they're not really curls, they're more waves. First of all, obviously I like to wash my hair, you need to have wet hair for this, and today I double shampooed, I do like to double shampoo um, every so often just to give it a really nice clean, and the one I used today was literally the last drops of the Herbal Essence Uplifting Volume Shampoo, and then I also used the Garnier Ultimate Blends, um, the one with argan and chamomile oils. I love this, this leaves my hair feeling so soft, it's ridiculous. And then I conditioned with um, the voluming shampoo again with herbal essences. Then I like to leave my hair to kind of dry a bit. This is damp hair, it's not dry, it's not wet, it's damp. I just find that the curls look so much better like that and you don't get funny like kinks from where it's been up or anything like that. You can do this on really wet hair. I do sometimes if, um, let's say I have work the next day and I need to wash my hair the night before, I will do this while it's still really wet and I sleep on it and then you're good to go in the morning. Like It's so quick and easy. This is a perfect hairstyle for anyone that is lazy in the mornings like me and would prefer to stay in bed for five minutes rather than having to faff about with their hair. Just give so. your hair a nice brush just to make sure it is unknotted so you don't have to worry about that in the morning or when it's dry. Um, my hair type is, you all know, very very thin. It also has like a really natural wave. You can see it's starting here and it's got a bit of a frizz to it. It's not the nicest hair. I don't really like my hair, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yes, then all you'll need is two tiny little clips, like the little tiny clips, you can get these anywhere. These are from Superdrug, like from a massive pack. Cut your hair into two and twist it. Twist, twist, twist. I like to keep it quite loose, um, like here, so you don't get, again, any like random kinky bits. Just keep twisting. Obviously, depending on how tight your twist is, it would depend on how big or curly your hair is when it's done, and then you just wrap it over the top of your head, almost like a milkmaid kind of thing. I'm really hoping that the microphone is working during this because so many times it doesn't work. Like that, just pin it in place and then do exactly the same on the other side. I like to pin them to each other, I don't know why, I just find it, sometimes it helps them stay in place for longer, I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then you just leave that until your hair is pretty much dry. I like. Okay, so it's been in for about two hours now. Um, it's still kind of damp, but this is kind of where I like to leave it. Unless I do it open, obviously, then it's really, really dry. Just take out your little clips, and then you have your two ringlets here, and then just run your fingers through them. Okay, my hair's really still a bit too wet to take out, but you'll get the idea. And that is kind of what you're left with there. Hopefully you can see the curls there, they're like really subtle, gentle waves. Um, and then you can either leave it like that, although I don't know if you can see, but um, because I've left it in for as long as I have, I do have those funny kinks, so this is why I like to put half of it up. So you can either do it with a hair bubble or with like a little clip like this. these dry a bit more and they start to drop out a little bit. My hair kind of goes really nice, it gets like a really nice body to it, um, really nice texture and yeah I'm good for like three days. Uh, with this I like to sleep with it in a plait at night. Um, I do a Dutch braid just because I find, I don't know, I just kind of get a better result if I do a Dutch braid rather than a normal braid. So a Dutch braid is obviously going behind, not over the top, if that makes sense. And yeah, this is definitely my go-to hairstyle. So quick and easy to do and it's so practical in the mornings. Yes, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know any other tips if you have them for um, no heat curls or any no heat hairstyles that work really well for you. I would love to know. Let me know if you tried this out and how you get on with it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!